Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on the learning sheet 12 from the Kalika Chetarika of class 9. So before starting the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So here we are going to study about the rationalization. So what is rationalization? Here they have given the process of multiplication of an irrational number. Okay, multiplying an irrational number. So example they have given, you can see this is an irrational number. Multiplying one and one irrational number by another irrational number. Okay, by another irrational number to obtain a rational number okay after multiplying two irrational numbers when we get a rational number that process is called as rationalization okay so here they have given the examples as you can see and few more examples are given if it is a single term means if it is a monomial term then the rationalizing factor will be similar okay and when it is a binomial term means two term this is one term and this is one term and it is added or either if it is subtracted whatever it is then the rationalizing factor will reverse its sign since here you can see if this is plus it will change its sign to minus and if it was minus here then it will change its signs to positive okay you just have to remember when it is a binomial term the sign in the middle will be changed when it is a monomial term it the number will be as it is okay so so let us start here simplify by rationalizing the denominator so we have to rationalize the denominator and we have to simplify so first one is done 1 by root 5 was given as the question okay now what we have to do since here root 5 is given we have to take root 5 itself to rationalize okay here see uh, multiply the numerator and denominator by the rationalizing factor the similar factor we have to take and we have to multiply it to both the numerator as well as the denominator then what we are getting 1 into root 5 will be root 5 itself and root 5 into root 5 we are getting 5 as as i have already told you root 5 into root 5 we will get 5 into 5 okay like this so this root will be as it is and this will become 5 square so square and root will be cancelled we are left with only 5 so here root 5 into root 5 we are getting 5 similarly here we have to multiply the denominator whatever the term is given in the denominator the same term we have to divide uh, sorry not divide divide and multiply by the numerator and denominator so here what we are getting 3 into root 2 into root 5 we are getting and as I have already told root 5 into root 5 will be 5. So this will become 3 into inside the root 5 to the 10 divided by 5. Okay so this will be the answer. Next one as you can see 1 by this is given as the binomial term 1 divided by root 3 plus 2 is given so what we have to do here root 3 plus 2 into here we have to take root 3 minus 2 divided by root 3 minus 2 okay now 1 into root 3 minus 2 we will get root 3 minus 2 itself and here this is a plus b and a minus b formula when we apply a plus b a minus b what we are going to get a square minus b square we are getting we are going to get okay so what is our a square a square is nothing but root 3 whole square minus b is nothing but 2 okay it means it will be 2 square so this square and this root is cancelled we are left with 3 minus 2 to the 4 so 3 minus 4 so here we are going to get 3 minus 4 so what will be the answer root 3 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 4 means minus 1 we are going to get okay so the next one here you can see this must be multiplied by here you can see root 5 plus 7 is given and this is also a binomial term so you have to change the sign here it will be multiplied by root 5 minus 7 divided by root 5 minus 7 so again this is a plus b and a minus b term okay so this you can see 3 into this term that is 5 sorry root 5 minus 7 which is divided by root 5 plus 7 into root 5 minus 7 okay so here you can see this is 3 root 5 if you multiply this this is 3 root 5 minus 3 root 7 divided by this is this is a plus b a minus b that is a square 
this is a square minus b square okay so this square and this square and root is cancelled here we are left with 3 root 5 minus 3 root 7 divided by 5 minus 7 to 7 square 7 7 za 49 is given okay so it will be equals to 3 root 5 minus 3 root 7 divided by sorry this is not root 7 this is 3 into 7 okay i made a mistake here only the root is for 5 it is not for 7 so this is 3 7 za 21 here Okay, this is 21. 3 sevens are 21. So, this is 3 sevens are 21 divided by 5 minus 49 is minus 44. Okay, so this will be the answer. So, after looking all these four questions, you might have uh, guessed why we are getting only the, uh, you can see here, we are getting the uh, root number in the numerator. Only the denominator is being rationalized. Just because here they have asked us, simplify by rationalizing the denominator. Means, whatever the top number is, means whatever the numerator is, if it is rationalized or not rationalized, we are not bothered about it. We just have to rationalize the denominator. Means the denominator must be a rational number rather than irrational number. Okay. But the numerator can be a rational number. So similarly here you can see this is root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 minus root 2 because here we are getting root 3 plus root 2 okay when we sign when we change the sign here it will be minus and minus so multiplied by 1 means it will be root 3 minus root 2 divided by this is a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square a square minus b square square and root square and root is cancelled we are left with root 3 minus root root 2 will be as it is divided by 3 minus 2 so it will be root 3 minus root 2 divided by 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1 okay so next next one you can see this is 1 divided by root 5 into root 3 okay it means it will be multiplied by okay here you can see it means it is multiplied by 1 divided by, sorry not 1 divided by, this is root 5 minus root 3. Okay, since here it was plus, this will be minus and it is divided by root 5 minus root 3. Okay, and 1 into root 5 minus root 3 is root 5 minus root, C, uh, root 3 itself. And this is a plus b into a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square. Okay, again square and root, square and root is cancelled. We are left with root 5 minus root 3 divided by 5 minus 3 which is equals to root 5 minus root 3 divided by 2. Okay. So, I hope everything is clear to you. If you are having any doubts regarding this learning sheet, you can comment me down below. So, we will continue into the uh, next video. I will be posting the next learning sheet. So, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So till then stay tuned and stay connected. Thank you.